post drag queen. A man in a dress. I don't shave my legs or wear a bra to impress. An aggressive activist. A femme fatale. Replicating a woman, but still very male. This isn't misogyny. No jokes about cunt. But a gender analysis. A political stunt. Post drag. Post feminist. Post giving a shit. Misogynistic homophobes can deal with this. I am alpha male. I stand tall erect, both top and bottom. Your fear and my dread. A gender pretender, a glint in his eye. A lip sinker, a poet. Hear my cry, it is a tuneless song, expressing the voice of a harlot, of a starlet. Camp is a choice. It's a weapon, a means, an attack on the norm. Highlighting a heritage from which we weren't born. A heritage, I say, it's not like black or white or religion which is nurtured giving a reason to fight. But we were born to the enemy, the opposition, the foe. Leading a life that they simply can't know. Defining, exciting. Stimulation against expectation. <laughs> a freak, a unique, but no one-off sensation. Friends of Dorothy. That's what they call us, the queers. Uh, we have a heritage, and that heritage is Oz. Yes, that's right. Oz, I cry, for twinks, for dykes, for bears. Oh my. Dorothy in Oz. A fag hag on the prowl. Ruining your childhood, but let me tell you how. A pretty young girl, no friends of her own. And she needs to learn the lesson that there's no place like home. And she makes new friends who are all queer in a way because they're looking for love. And for someone to say that you, yes you, are fabulous. Unique. Stand tall. Be yourself. Be glamorous. And she loved them all. So coward or thicko, heartless or queer. Judy Garland taught us to love and live without fear. But then, uh, in her death, June 69, she was to be celebrated one major time. Queer wasn't legal and in NYC, Greenwich Village was the safe place to be. And in that village, one bar was a mecca to all things queer. Stonewall for fags, hags, drags, even you, dear. Yes, Stonewall Greenwich Village, it was fabulous. Forbidden, but prohibition can be fun. It was magnetic, it was electric, and you could fuck Anyone. <laughs> to celebrate Judy's life, they threw a big do with glitter and music and everything taboo. So it was a normal night in that dingy shack. But there was one big difference. Every queer wore black. So we're all there, Stonewall 1969, celebrating the life of Judy Garland. Each and every one of us in our feathers, heels, finery and sequins, looking absolutely outrageously fantastic. You're there, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, the fags, the hags, the glitz and the glam, the trans, the dykes, that girl or a man, united in black, a girl understood. She left us, she'd gone, but Judy was good. We all have a drink, there's a girl at the bar, waves the drag queen, be high, stuff bra. She sings, she sings, she sings for Judy. She left, no time to regret.
It's a no so powerful it echoes around the walls of the Stonewall Inn, goes out onto Christopher Street, down through the streets of New York City, across the rest of the world and through generations to come. No. The cops stand in stunned silence. The drag queens look at each other, the fluttering of eyelashes. The butch dyke gives a knowing nod. The flavor, head to toe in black body glitter, brushes the fringe out of his eye in anticipation. It's not about one night. Years of abuse being the unlocked, beans and smokings resolve in that no, and it kicks off. Transgendered bar staff, red boys hall, Wall Street causes in Gucci controls, crowds on the street, people cheering, arm in arm, and the cops were cheering. We've had all we can take from you, the Gestapo, we're putting down our heels once and for all. 13 arrests, 4 officers hurt, and a chain of men charging in skirts, a cop with his wrist, and a limp back, made a press, and a fashion man. That was the night it all began. That was the night of due celebration. That was the night.